Welcome back to the Crypto Bot Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, something massive is building in the price of Bitcoin. And also, what's happening right now is a possible breakout in the price of ETH just in the short term, which I'll talk more about later in the video. So definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a quick update on what the US stock market did over the last trading day. This right here is the NASDAQ 100 index on the daily time frame. And as you can see here, over the last trading day, we saw more bearish price action in the stock market. In fact, over the last three to four days, we've seen quite the dump in the US stock market, especially ever since the point where the NASDAQ 100 index broke below that golden pocket level of support and flipped it into new resistance again. That was a strong bearish signal as I covered on the channel back then. And so right now, considering the NASDAQ 100 index has broken below the 78.6% Fibonacci level and also these lows back here that we saw during July, one of the final significant levels of support to watch for the NASDAQ 100 index is of course the June low, which is sitting closer towards 11,000 in the NASDAQ 100 index. But something else to pay attention to on this chart right here is the fact that the daily RSI is approaching oversold territories. In in fact, it's pretty much already there. And technically speaking, when this happens, when the RSI enters into oversold territories, especially on the daily time frame, that's telling us that we have somewhat limited room to the downside, at least in the somewhat shorter term relative to the daily time frame, which can usually be a few days, maybe a week or so. And so this could actually be considered some good news in the short term for the NASDAQ 100 index, potentially over the next one week or so. Because like I said, technically speaking, this does tell us that we could soon be due to see some sort of bounce or at least some sort of pause within the bearish trend. But despite the US stock market dumping over the last few days, surprisingly, Bitcoin has actually held up very well over the last few days, considering the stock market has been constantly dumping. Because this right here is the daily Bitcoin chart. And as you can see, over the last few days, the price of Bitcoin has continued to find support along this range of support that I've been talking about for a while now on this channel, which is coming into play in between around 18,500 and 19,000. And on top of the price of Bitcoin simply running into this horizontal range of support, we also have an active bullish divergence here on the daily time frame. obviously because we have lower lows in the daily candle closes in the price action, but higher lows in the daily Bitcoin RSI. And so this just tells us that we're technically due to see reduced bearish momentum in the somewhat shorter term relative to the daily time frame, which usually means at least a few days, maybe even over one to two weeks. And obviously what we have already seen over the last few days is definitely reduced bearish momentum compared to the bearish trends that we've seen over the last one month or so. And so nothing much has changed on this daily Bitcoin chart. So if you're new to the channel and you want to know more information about this chart right here, check out my last video on the channel because in that video, I went into a little bit more detail about this chart right here. But anyway, zooming out to the three day Bitcoin chart and what we have right here is a massive bullish divergence, a much larger bullish divergence from just this one on the daily Bitcoin charts, because zooming back out to the three-day Bitcoin charts, this bullish divergence actually started to form towards the end of June, early July. And so far, as of recording this video, we're now forming our third lower low in the price of Bitcoin when you're looking at the three-day candle closes. Meanwhile, the three-day Bitcoin RSI is currently forming its third higher low since June, July. And in fact, the last time we saw anything close to this on the three-day Bitcoin chart was actually towards was the middle of last year, as we could see back during June and July last year. We saw the Bitcoin price on the three-day timeframe and the three-day Bitcoin RSI form a massive bullish divergence, as well as the price action technically forming a falling wedge pattern, obviously with lower highs and lower lows. And right now, technically speaking, the Bitcoin price is forming somewhat similar price structure with lower highs and lower lows forming in the price of Bitcoin, while the RSI is actually ascending kind of like what we saw in the middle of last year. Now, obviously, I want to make it clear that just because we have some similarities this time around to what we saw in the middle of last year, that does not mean we're going to see the exact same outcome from what we saw towards the second half of last year. But with that being said, this is still definitely something to keep an eye on because if the price of Bitcoin does actually break above this descending line of resistance, which currently is sitting at around 21,500, then that would be a signal on some of these larger timeframes telling 
telling us that the price of Bitcoin is finally flipping more bullish again, whether that's a full on bullish reversal or just more of a temporary relief rally before we continue more downside price action later on. Either way, if the price of Bitcoin does start breaking back above around 21 and a half thousand, that would be the price level where I would start flipping more bullish again. But as of right now, obviously we have no signs of an actual bullish reversal, at least not until we start seeing the price of Bitcoin break above some of these significant levels of resistance, which haven't happened just yet at least. And also while we're here on the three day Bitcoin chart, looking at that three day Bitcoin RSI, once again, we can see that right now we're in a converging range where soon enough, the three day Bitcoin RSI will be forced to either break support or break resistance. And when that actually happens, when we get a confirmed break above resistance or a confirmed break below support, then that would likely act as a signal telling us where the price of Bitcoin is heading next. So obviously if the RSI breaks below supports, then as that signal is flashing, that would actually invalidate this bullish divergence on the three day Bitcoin charts, which would basically tell us that we're about to see another leg to the downside in the price of Bitcoin. But on the flip side, obviously if the three day Bitcoin RSI breaks above this massive line of resistance with some confirmation, then that would be a pretty strong signal telling us that we're likely about to see more of a relief in the price of Bitcoin. But as of right now, obviously we're just waiting to get one of those signals. We haven't actually confirmed another leg to the downside or a relief just yet on this three day Bitcoin RSI. But obviously as soon as we start to see one of these confirming signals, I will let you know on this channel in these videos and also in real time over on my Twitter. So if you haven't followed me over there, make sure you're doing that. The link is down below in the description and in the pinned comment. But anyway, zooming into the shorter term, taking a look at just the four hour Bitcoin charts, obviously in the immediate short term, we've continued to see more choppy sideways price action over the last few days as expected. Obviously, if you've been watching my videos over the last few days, I've been saying how the most likely scenario in the immediate short term is probably going to be some more choppy sideways price action. And obviously, as I've mentioned over the last few days, the support for this sideways price range is sitting at around 18 and a half thousand and the resistance is sitting at around 19.4k approximately. But if the price of Bitcoin confirms a break above 19.4k, then our next level of resistance would be sitting closer towards $20,000. And something else to consider in the short term is obviously the fact that we also have a four hour bullish divergence here as well, which once again tells us that we're due to see reduced bearish momentum in the short term. But keep in mind, because this is only on the four hour time frame, this bullish divergence may wear off sometime soon because usually these sort of bullish divergences that we see on just the four hour time frame, these smaller time frames, usually last for just a few days and then they begin to wear off and we continue on with the trend. And so in the immediate short term, perhaps over the next day, we could still experience a little bit more choppy sideways price action as one of the most likely scenarios in the short term. But technically speaking, in terms of the trend, we are still more bearish than bullish as of right now. We have not actually confirmed a bullish reversal, but the point where I would actually start to flip more bullish again and talk about more of a bullish reversal in the short term would be if the price of Bitcoin reclaims $20,000. If the price gets back above that previous golden pocket at 20K, once again, that is when I'll start to flip more bullish again in the short term for Bitcoin. And once again, on the larger timeframes, if we confirm a larger breakout above around 21 and a half thousand, then that would be where I'll start flipping more bullish again on some of these larger timeframes. But once again, as of right now, we are technically still more bearish than bullish in terms of the trend at the moment. And this is also the case for Ethereum as well. Looking at the daily Ethereum chart, obviously we've already initiated that break to the downside for this possible head and shoulders pattern. And based on that pattern, there is a technical price target at around $1,000 per ETH. But as I've been talking about over the last few days, between the current price and that $1,000 price target, there are other levels of support between now and then that could actually prevent the price even reaching that price target, such as this golden pocket level of support on the logarithmic chart, which is sitting at around 1.2K. And what we can also see on this daily timeframe is that the daily Ethereum RSI is pretty close to oversold territories, but obviously it hasn't actually made it all the way into oversold territories, which means technically there is still some more room to the downside. But like I said earlier for the stock market, as the daily RSI gets closer towards oversold territories, that's basically telling us that we have somewhat limited room to the downside in the somewhat shorter term, as in perhaps over the next few days, maybe over the next few weeks. And when you combine that with the fact that the daily Ethereum MACD, specifically the histogram within the MACD indicator, is 
currently showing some reduced bearish momentum with the histogram approaching the zero level. This is also telling us that we're due to see a bit of a pause within the bearish trend, kind of like what we saw back here, for example, or back here, for example, where the price action just in the somewhat shorter term actually had a short term bullish relief. But in this most recent example, what we saw towards the beginning of this month was obviously a continuation of the bearish trend later on. So that's why this signal isn't really enough to call a bullish reversal, because if that was the case, then we should have seen a bullish reversal back here. But basically, the situation at the moment is that we're due to see a bit of a pause potentially within that bearish trend. But obviously, that's when we're looking at the daily time frame. But instead, if we look at the four hour Ethereum charts right now, we're starting to see potentially a bit of a breakout above this three day simple moving average, which over the last few weeks has actually been acting as some strong resistance for the price of ETH. But as I've been talking about over the last few days, something that we have different this time around that we didn't have at these previous tests is now a shorter term bullish divergence, obviously with lower lows in the price, but higher lows in the RSI telling us that we're due to see reduced bearish momentum. And on top of that, looking at the four hour Ethereum MACD, right now we're seeing fairly consistent bullish momentum, although it isn't really a lot of bullish momentum because obviously this isn't really a significant wave in the MACD indicator. But if this shorter term bullish momentum just remains consistent like this in the four hour Ethereum MACD, that can actually result in the price of ETH slowly grinding to the upside. And once again, combined with this short term bullish divergence and a potential breakout above this moving average, which ideally we need to see a little bit more confirmation with perhaps a retest because the last time this happened, when the price came back down for a retest, we actually failed the breakouts. But with that being said, we do actually have a few signs on the four hour chart, which are actually pointing a little bit more bullish in the short term, telling us that the most likely scenario for Ethereum in the short term at the moment, instead of just choppy sideways price action, could actually be some slight bullish price action. But obviously in that case, there's still some levels of resistance that we need to consider. For example, at the moment, as of recording this video, the price of ETH is currently running into some short term resistance at around 1340, give or take. And anything above that level, if we see a four hour candle close above that level, then our next significant level of resistance for ETH is sitting at around 1.4K, more specifically around 1410. And anything above that, then I'll be looking towards around 1470 approximately. And then anything above that 50% retracement level, then I'll be looking towards the golden pocket level of resistance up here, which is sitting at around 1550. And if you want to know how to maximize the profit that you're making in crypto from all of these moves in the market, whether the price is going up, down, or just chopping around sideways, either way, you can learn how to maximize your profits in crypto by watching these videos popping up right here on your screen. Because the video in the top left of your screen shows you how to make money in crypto if the price is going either up or down, and the video in the bottom left of your screen shows you how to make money in crypto if the price is going sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.